Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me for today's video. So this is kind of like an extra video this week because I've been meaning to post this for so long but I haven't got around to actually filming it. But if you haven't seen it, um, I recently was very kindly gifted some bits from Elemis that I've basically been trying for the past few weeks and today's video is kind of like the second part to that video the first one was kind of like a haul and sort of showing you kind of what i'm going to be testing out and today's video is kind of like a light-hearted review of how i've got on with each of the products and which ones i recommend and just how i found them um it's worth noting i'm not a skincare professional so if you've come here for like in-depth technical advice i'm probably not the right person but I'm just your average consumer trying these products and giving you an honest review. The first product I want to talk about is the Elemis Pro Cleansing Balm. Now, when I first used this, I, I just didn't get the hype and that was completely through like user error because I put it on and tried to just wash it off with water. However, you are meant to like obviously use it and then wipe it away with a cleansing cloth or something and I was thinking why does my skin feel so strange but I hadn't actually wiped it off properly so that was a complete user error once I figured that out I mean what a stupid mistake to make um, but yeah once I figured out how to use the product properly um, I've had some really really great results with this so I use it every single day and it really does just make your skin feel so fresh that's what I've loved about the Elemis products. Yeah, they are quite pricey. Sometimes I try products that are of a higher price point, but just don't get that kind of wow feeling. For If a product's expensive, I need it to be, yes, like this is the best thing ever. And a few of these products really have given me that feeling. And this cleanser specifically, yeah, it just leaves your skin so fresh and you just use it and feel almost squeaky clean. And it also breaks up makeup really nicely as well if you've had makeup on. But do I recommend this? Yes, it is quite pricey. So obviously it's not going to be for everybody, but I think if you can afford it or you are able to save, even if it's just for the smaller size, I definitely think it's worth giving it a try. Um, so that's sort of how much I've got left, I mean way over half a tub and yeah it lasts really well, you don't have to put loads and loads on which is nice so if you do splurge it's going to last you a while which is always good to know and it also just smells so fresh, kind of like smells very spring like um, so yeah really really lovely product, 100% recommend this if you can afford it. So the next product I am going to put it out there, this is a product that I personally would recommend the most out of this whole video and all of the bits that I've been trying, it's the one product that I've seen the most difference from and has really really worked for my skin and it's the Pro Collagen Marine Cream, now this product is 100 completely percent worth the price tag. I've always suffered with quite dry skin and kind of uneven texture. It's never always, my skin has never in the past really felt like super smooth and hydrated, but using this twice daily, I have really, really seen a difference. I mean, you're probably not gonna be able to tell on the camera because it's not like in real life, but my skin is just so so smooth and that is 100% down to this product again it's pricey but if you want to buy one thing out of this video go for this cream you will not be disappointed and again it just smells lovely and as you can see I've still got plenty left I will definitely be repurchasing this myself when this one runs out because yeah when you actually see a product create a difference to your skin in a positive way it's kind of like you've just got to keep at it because I think it can be hard to find things that really work for your skin and when you do just stick with it basically. So the next two products I'm going to show you are the more kind of like body care ones. So first up is the Revitalize Me Shower Gel. Now this is pretty empty. This is a very very luxurious product. Obviously it is very pricey for a shower gel considering you can get them for like a pound in boots this is bougie <laughs> but do i think it's worth the money if you have the budget yes because this isn't just like a shower gel this is kind of like an experience you use this and you just enjoy using it you enjoy the smell it's not just kind of the means to being clean it's kind of the in-between stage of just enjoying using it which i think is what this product is kind of all about it says here on the front uplifting shower gel um 
and yeah it is definitely uplifting however i do have a slight not complaint but um what would be the word we'll go with complaint but it's not really a complaint it is just the packaging of this product so you're kind of in the shower you're about to use it you unscrew the lid and then you kind of squirt it onto your hand and then you've got an empty tube a hand of shower gel and the lid that you need to put back on and it's like quite tricky and i've noticed if i don't put the lid on straight away product just keeps coming out on its own and i've also noticed just storing it like upright like this on the shelf product often just comes into the lid i'm not sure if you can see um and it's like all around the edge so i just wish this was in more of like just an easier tube to maintain and to use like in the shower um so that's the only downside to this product but that's just the packaging and not the product itself um the packaging is just a little bit tricky and i have wasted a bit of the product because it has come out on its own or spilt and leaked um but aside from the packaging this is a really really beautiful shower gel so in line with the shower gel i also have the sea lavender and sapphire salt scrub and again this is beautiful so this one doesn't leak because oh, she says it's a bit messy but that's just from me using it this one doesn't leak on its own because it is like a scrub it's not a runny liquid so i think the screwy top lid for this one works absolutely fine you can like squirt it out leave it on the side and it doesn't sort of flow out on its own because it is thick and yeah this leaves your skin super smooth and again it's just a real treat to use i mean i wish i was rich enough to use these every day because they are just so luxurious um so yeah i kind of saved them for like a couple of couple of days in the week treat or like a weekend treat and just really enjoy using them for like a pamper night and in keeping with like body care is this hand cream this is the pro radiance hand and nail cream you know what i'm gonna put some on already <laughs> it's just lovely this smells just so fresh i mean just put a little bit on i've got other products to pick up um but this is just so so nice and coming out of winter i was using it so so much when like my hands are dry from sanitizing and washing them all the time this has really really saved them this is a beautiful beautiful product so if you are looking for a hand cream and you're kind of looking within this price point then this really is a beautiful one i mean can you see like literally no sticky residue at all your hands just feel like silky smooth and glossy really really nice i also feel as though this would make a beautiful gift to somebody as well because it's just a really luxurious product to use and you might not think to treat yourself to like a more kind of luxurious hand cream so to receive this as a gift would also be lovely next up we have the balancing lavender toner now i've been using this every day and again it's a lovely lovely product i actually use this after i get out of the shower before i moisturize and it just gives you like such a refreshing spritz and start to the day and it also smells beautiful as well and i can't say whether it has necessarily toned my skin so far it might have but I have such red skin and naturally like under my makeup when I'm washing things that I don't always see a big difference with using toners. So I do mainly use this just as a refreshing spritz, but I know it's working wonders for my skin. But just because I do have such naturally pink red skin, it can be hard to, to know if something is toning it or not. Next up, I've got the Pro Collagen Advanced Eye Cream. I have been using this on the daily. I just pump like a little bit onto my finger and I literally just dab it under here. And I would do, I would say that it has some nice firming qualities. I've not seen like a drastic change, but I don't really have like any wrinkles or anything under my eye, but it does make my eye area feel nice and tight and nice and kind of hydrated and fresh. I don't really have the best review of this product to share with you or the next one, but yeah, it's a really nice eye cream. I haven't had any negative, I don't have anything negative to say about it, um, but I haven't seen huge, huge differences. But like I said, I don't really have that much to change under my eyes at the moment. But it definitely does give you a nice kind of firmer feeling and hydration around your eyes, that's for sure. And I also have the Superfood Facial Oil. Now, this is a product that I was a little bit apprehensive to use because I don't always like to put oil on my skin. I just, I don't always love the kind of feeling of it and the texture. I know that's so weird. Um, but when I use this, you basically apply it, you kind of massage it into your face and then you rinse it away. And 
it did leave my skin very, very smooth and almost like silky feeling, but it's not a product that I've reached for loads and loads and loads compared to some of the other ones. So um, do I recommend it? Yes, but I haven't used it that much to kind of see a difference or give you like a complete amazing review of it. Um, Cause yeah, I just, I just not a big fan of that kind of oily feeling on my face. I don't know why. <laughs> the last product is this body oil. Now, can you see like this is solid? Oh, so what's going on with my hair? This is basically solid, and you run it under the water for like a couple of seconds, hot water, and then it basically turns into a liquid. But yeah, this product has so many different uses. I mainly use it for like dry skin areas but you can use it in your hair. You can basically leave it in your hair for like 15 minutes with a warm towel over the top. It's like a really kind of like deep hydration for your hair. And you can also use it for a nice massage. I'm actually moving house very soon and into an apartment with my boyfriend. So I'm definitely gonna be asking for a massage with this. Elemis products are where it's at for me. <laughs> I will be repurchasing all of the ones that I've discussed in today's video that I said I loved. Um, there's a couple that I probably wouldn't repurchase like the facial oil just because I'm not that into the facial oils but it was a great one to try and I will definitely be using this one up it's just probably one that I wouldn't repurchase but the cleanser and the moisturizer and the hand cream all get the biggest yes from me ever so do the body products like the body wash and the body scrub but I feel as though they are quite bougie and they're not necessarily something you would add to like your fortnightly shop or however often you buy body wash but I still loved them so much I just don't feel like they're necessarily an everyday product just because they are so luxurious I kind of feel bad to use them but that's probably just me being stupid um because yeah they are lovely so I hope that kind of wraps up this video and gives you a little overview of the products that I've been loving. I will link them all down below. Let me know if you've tried any of them or whether you've tried any other Elemis products that you would recommend. Um, but yeah, going forward, it's going to be my go-to skincare brand that I'm definitely going to buy time after time after time again. And yeah, I'm moving house very soon, so make sure to subscribe to my channel because there's going to be so many moving vlogs and homely vlogs and skincare routines and all sorts coming in my new house when I have my own place that isn't my family's house. I'm going to be able to film all over the place whenever and chat to you until my heart's content, so I can't wait for that. But until then, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you very soon. Thank you.